So I have this werewolf mask here, and we're gonna uh, fix this hair edge on it. And there's a couple ways that you can do it. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple tricks. Um, up here on the ear, I have an exposed ear showing. I'm gonna use a little bit of silicone on the inside of the ear. This is clear silicone caulk. This is silicone one. Just on that inside piece of the ear. And now the hair that I do have, I'm gonna wrap around and just get in that silicone. And that's gonna leave a nice fuzzy edge. Fur is very forgiving. Uh, you just have to finesse it, finagle it and convince it to do what you want. Uh, a bad hair job is, uh, it's a kiss of death. Um, if the pattern's not cut right, if the hair is going the wrong way, other than that, there's a lot to be forgiven. Okay, now I'm gonna get all the hair out of the way. This is the area that I want to fix all of this. Again, and fix is a strong word. What I really want to do is I just want to add silicone caulk. Again, I just put a fat bead down there. See this beautiful fat bead of silicone? Delicious. Okay. Now I have hair weave hair that I'm going to put on here. And now this is all sewn onto a strip. So this is hair weave, it's hair extension hair. These are, I don't know, eight inches long. And I'm putting that edge right in the silicone. Really gonna make sure that it works in. And so that's tacky enough to hold that for now until it cures. And it'll cure in about an hour. I'm gonna do a little tag in piece here. Now I should have done this little under bit first, but I didn't know I was gonna need it. The fur cowl I made, that's just fun fur. And I did that first. And now I'm treating all the edges. See, now I'm putting another line right on that. Because that's a big, thick edge that's sewn together, and that's fairly visible. I'm gonna take my finger and spread that out really uh, thin. I'm gonna leave a thick edge, and then I'll spread that out. Before I touch any hair, any other hair, I am going to make sure I wipe my finger off very well. And this is just a little piece of the fun fur. A little piece of that fun fur. I just cut it, a strip, hair hanging down, and I want the hair to go back. I'm putting it mostly in that big well. Remember I spread it out thin, and that's so I can pull some hair forward and muss that line. And now that that is pulled forward, I don't have that hard edge. And I'm gonna fix all of this here. I just have to cut another little strip. Working with fur, always check your hair direction. Uh, this is going down this way. And I don't always, I use a razor blade. I don't wanna cut the hair on the other side. I just have to cut this backing. And again, only like a three quarter inch strip. And see here, I press a little hard, but not terrible. Yeah, see I'm losing some of that. 
Yeah, we're good. Not a sharp blade. Always work with a sharp blade. Again, I have my piece. And now I've got some silicone that I'm pushing out and pulling that hair into. And now you can see a cup like the white's not exactly the right color. I'm gonna airbrush that. I'm gonna airbrush all that white again. But now I've got a nice edge of hair. So that is how you would seam that. And now, because this is acrylic, all the hair is acrylic, I'm just gonna use a nice white spray paint in order to blend that hair in together. All right, so now that's all blended in together. It looks more like one piece. A little bit of white ink, black ink. I'm gonna make it gray. Airbrush this werewolf real quick. You can 100% airbrush uh, acrylic fur and hair. Now I can get a nice, more of a timber wolf look. And uh, look at a look at a couple wolves, you know. Get some visual reference and figure out how you want your wolves to look. It's a simple fast. It does not have to be real complicated. It's acrylic ink on, well, it is alcohol-based acrylic ink on acrylic fur. I'll leave the ear tips kind of white and darken the rest here. white patch on his chest, but this now is a more realistic looking uh, wolf pattern from white fur. So there you go. So now I have a noble werewolf who has uh, done some chewing. All right, go make stuff.